my friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> breakfast time with fruit and nuts. That's my favorite breakfast because it has all macronutrients. Carbohydrates, that's in fruit mostly, that's I eat most. Then nuts and seeds, that is protein and fat, that's the other two. The three macronutrients is what all our food, everything we eat is made up of. The micronutrients is the smaller, the tiny nutrients, micro, vitamins, minerals, colors, fragrances, textures. Yeah. Um, that is the small part. But when, you come, when it comes to the big picture, what we all need on the planet to survive every day, yeah, how much energy we need, 2,000 calories, 3,000 calories, a person or so depending on um, weight and activity and so on. Uh, the calories are part of the macro macronutrient story, the big picture. Yeah. And there fat, protein and carbohydrates play on this field. So for the big picture I always go to these uh, numbers. And um, it's interesting that most of the time of our humankind, most of the humans always ate more carbohydrates, that is fruit and vegetables, and less protein and fat, nuts and seeds. I, mean, uh, I painted, it's a simple picture, easy picture. Of course, we are all vegan now. Vegan is pretty new. Earlier on, people that didn't wasn't such a big topic to people. It only took on uh, when the planet came to a crisis. Yeah, when animals, uh, when humans were dying um, of um, eating animals and so on. That when that came to awareness, um, the uh, the topic of veganism became more and more important. And now it's it's the biggest worldwide movement, and we think more more about these things. Yeah. Um, and so, in retrospect, we see that most of the people always ate mostly fruit and uh, vegetables. Yeah. Nuts and seeds, small, small part. And that's why my breakfast is so nice here with fruit, because fruit, you know, the kind of carbohydrates in, food, in fruit, are easier to digest than any other carbohydrates, because the carbohydrates in the fruit are mostly sugar, and the kind of sugar, there are different kinds of sugar, the kind of sugar in fruit is exactly what burns in the cell for fuel in the body cells. That's amazing. And so fruit is best digestible. And there are, science even shows that you literally cannot eat too much fruit. You can't. Most of the people um, in America, for example, in the 2000 years, most of the people died premature death because of eating too little fruit. Hundreds of studies were made in the time of the 2000s over all the countries, or many countries, or 200 countries or so on the planet, and they wanted to know what's the most important cause of premature death at that time. And in America it was uh, eating too little fruit. I mean, it's, uh, it's amazing, I didn't know that. So, and in the end, there are more studies show that you cannot eat too much fruit. Yeah, literally. It's super healthy. So don't get confused about that. People saying, oh, my mother for example, she, she eats fruit always, but that's not her main food. If I come to her to visit once a year or so, I bring a lot of fruit and ask her to get fruit for me because she eats other things. <laughs> Yeah, uh, but fruit is really the, 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 the crown uh, of our food, I would say. I, might, I, I like it most, but the healthiest food, of course, are vegetable, green vegetables, dark, dark leafy greens, or also pulses for other diseases. It, it depends always on the main diseases, yeah. But um, dark leafy greens are very important, and that, that comes in the second part of my uh, daily um, food, uh, my daily menu. Um, a vegetable salad maybe or something with vegetables a food meal with vegetables uh, the other part is the breakfast for example favorably is fruit and nuts and i always make uh, small changes i have uh, some um, varieties some um, some ways to make my fruit salads and there are many ways and uh, today i have berries i have blueberries and um, strawberries 
um, uh, yeah, here I have uh, almost two cups of each. Yeah, they are now the same size, uh, blueberries and strawberries. I cut them a small little bit. <clears throat> and then I have a banana that is oftentimes in a fruit salad like a canvas, a neutral background, so to say. And it is a nice texture. And sometimes if I put apples or so in a fruit salad, it can be a little bit firm. You have to see that the textures in the fruit salad are not only too all firm, they have to be soft ones, juicy ones, medium ones with bananas, creamy ones, and so or nuts for a crunch or dried fruits. So the texture are very important in fruit salad because if you have always the same texture, it doesn't really taste well. You need variety for that. And um, that's why the banana is oftentimes a nice background, yeah, like an, like an, like an, like a canvas on a, on a painting. When you have a canvas, you have a background and a grounding, and then you put the colors on top of that. And the banana is like that neutral canvas for many fruit salads. And the berries here, the blueberries and the strawberries, are my coloring. coloring. And these three are the main part of the fruit salad. That is the main trinity here, the triple. I always uh, work with these triples. I have to compose a new recipe. I have a small triplet yeah, that is a center um, model, molecule, <laughs> or, and then I build uh, other triplets around that. Yeah, I have a whole triplet here. Um, um, the whole the recipe is, has three parts. It's a triplet. And one, the main part is the center triplet with the berries and the bananas. And then the topping is the second part, these are today macadamia nuts. These are my favorite nuts, I have to say. Yeah. I love cashews too, but in a fruit salad, they are wonderful. When the fruit are sweet, the cashews will also be sweet. And so it is nice to have macadamia instead, or both, but the macadamias are more um, savory. So they are a little contrasting also in flavor. And they add a nice new texture to the fruit salads, they are crunchy and dry. That is always nice for a fruit salad. They have a little bit more variety in texture. And the macadamias add these little bit savory flavor to that. Yeah. So that makes them, for my uh, taste, um, very nice in a fruit salad, the macadamias. I will top a little bit. So the second part is the macadamias, the topping. And the third part, to make it three again, is my um, dressing. And today I make a... Um, almond banana cream. I have a handful of almond, cannot be too much, yeah, because the almonds have a brown peel as you see. Yeah. The skin of the almond is brown and that means for example you want to make almond milk, you have to filter it otherwise it's too coarse, it doesn't taste so nice usually. But when you have a banana you can blend the almonds right into the banana and you don't have a coarse feeling because the, the high fiber content, the creaminess of the bananas um, makes up for the peel, for the skin, the brown skin, for the coarse part of the nut. With cashews, you don't need to worry because the cashews, they have no brown skin. They're easily blended, so it's very easy to make the cashew cream. But for the, with the almond, yeah, or the hazelnuts or so, you have this, this skin and then it is not so easy to make, it, uh, to make it creamy. But with the banana, that's nice, that's nice. But you can't take too many almonds, that's for sure. And today I have a third part also for the dressing that is here a lime. Usually I would take a lemon. Yeah, that's my easiest game. Yeah, I put banana and lemon, that's a perfect combination. Um, but today with the almond I wanted to have a lime because um, first I had a lime at home. If you have a lemon, take a lemon, no problem. Uh, but also I know that lime and almond have a very special relationship. I don't know how it works with the with the banana. Banana is perfect with 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 the lemon with the lemon, yeah. Banana and lemon is perfect. So I would usually take a lemon. But with the almond, lime might be interesting to try. I will see that today. It's a small change, yeah. Instead of a lemon, a lime. But let's see if it works. Put, um, most of the almonds in there, yeah, and the lime, and some water to make it um, creamy dressing. So. I use the almond today because of the because of the um, the raspberry. Yeah. To me, the raspberry has a special uh, relationship to the almond. It's interesting. The almond is not a nut, and the raspberry is not a 
sorry, strawberry, strawberry, no, the strawberry is not a berry, yeah. strangely, but um, botanically it is not considered a, a berry um, because uh, they have the seeds on top of the strawberry. You see this here is the strawberry from the outside and you see the little dots on the strawberry top. These are seeds and that means it is not a berry. For that reason it is another kind of, of fruit. I don't go into the detail, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah. But it's not a berry. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, the banana is a berry botanically, but who would say the banana is a berry? So it's a little bit confusing here if you go with the botanical categories to, to be precise scientifically. But you know, that doesn't really matter for the cooking. It is just um, in the cooking we say that it's all fruit and the strawberries we consider them berries, yeah, and that's it. It doesn't important. It's not important. It's an interesting detail. But for some reason, it's interesting that the almonds have a special relationship to the strawberries that are no berries, and that the almonds are not nuts. Though in kitchen we consider almonds nuts. Who wouldn't say that? Yeah. But almond is not a nut. <laughs> I don't know exactly what. It is very complicated. <laughs> it is not a nut. <laughs> that is that is for sure. I need, I looked it up. It, but it's very complicated if you go into that. It doesn't really matter. But it is related to the uh, strawberry because it tastes so nice together. And also with the banana. I made a smoothie with banana, strawberry and almond. Yeah. <laughs> you would wonder. Yeah. And um, it is fantastic. You look it up. In my YouTube channel I have the main ingredients of the recipes, oftentimes in the title. So if you for example look up on YouTube, go to, you search for MD Vegan, Strawberry, Almond, Banana, you will find these smoothies where these uh, strawberries, bananas and almonds are blended together. It's a wonderful flavor. Almond also tastes a little bit like vanilla. A little bit. Also the banana does that. And vanilla is perfect together with strawberry. So there is a, a lot to say about these three ingredients. Uh, and this is another recipe how I play with them. But though I chewed, put now the almond um, into the dressing and put it all over the strawberries, um, I tried first with this same fruit salad to do it the other way around. I tried to use the almond instead of the macadamias. I tried to put the almonds into the fruit salad directly. That didn't work. I ate the fruit salad and I always chewed on the skin, on the peel of the almond and I thought somehow it doesn't fit. So you want to put the almond in the fruit salad, I would not recommend it. I tried it, of course I enjoyed the fruit salad, but uh, not perfect. Yeah. So I guess that is better with the uh, macadamia uh, instead of the almonds and the almonds go to the dressing. Still there is a relationship then to, with the raspberries, uh, with the strawberries uh, in the fruit salad. Let's see. So I will blend it now. And then I will taste it and see if that with the lime and the almond, if that works together. Blend or dance. see the little dots here, the brown dots, that is from the almond, that's from the skin of the almond and that could be a little bit coarse if you take too many almonds. But as I said, the banana takes care of this. That's also why I like banana, um, um, banana nut milks, um, cashew banana milk, almond banana milk, hazelnut banana milk or so. I like it, that as a base for many smoothies. Yeah. It is so delicious to put the nuts or the seeds together, blend it together with the banana and to have these banana milks. Uh, this is so, such a variety and a wonderful base for many smoothies, dressing or so. Yeah. And it's always different and um, today I try the almond with the banana and the lime. Let's see what it tastes like. It's a little bit thick and creamy but that would go nicely with this fruit salad. Maybe I have to put a little bit more water in. Let me taste it. Mm. Fantastic. Wow. The lime makes a difference. It is more like, uh, like, a, um, like a ray of light as compared to the lemon. 
it's delicious. And I will, and I also taste the, the almond, the slightly bitter flavor of the almond. Some almonds are especially bitter, yeah, they can ruin the flavor. But with the banana together, the lime, this tastes a little bit in the direction of vanilla. And that is perfect together with banana. So this combination is really amazing. Just don't take too many almonds, my advice, uh, to make it not too coarse. But I will let it sit for a moment now. The almonds will soak a little bit and then blend it again. Maybe with a little bit more water and then I put it over my fruit salad. So the fruit salad, again, I show you is a banana, is the same amount as uh, like bananas and, 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 red, and strawberries and blueberries. That's the main story. Here, strawberry, same amount, in small pieces. And uh, the blueberries, yeah, that is a special fruit because it's the dark blue color that goes directly into the brain. It's uh, recommended to eat daily. It's uh, called our healthiest fruit, one of the healthiest, the blueberries, the bl because the blue uh, color transcends the barrier to the brain, the blood barrier. All the nutrients are filtered because the brain needs most of the nutrients, uh, most of the energy in the body. It's the most energy intensive organ. It's our main organ, so to say. And it needs to make sure, the body makes it needs to make sure that only the good things go up and no toxics and so it's dangerous. And so it has a filter. And the blue color is, so to say, the, vi the visa, the visa. <laughs> it goes directly through. So that's why the blueberries are so healthy for the brain. And it's recommended to eat them daily and you have a better performance from the brain. You have better memory and better soft skills of the brain. Um, uh, it's really nice to eat blueberries and they taste so wonderful. Yeah? So I mix it a little bit and uh, I also put some um, of the topping of the macadamias in there. So we'll keep some for the topping. Uh, a small amount of crunch is nice. It is enough here. That also fits into the story, isn't that beautiful? That um, I only need a small amount of fat and protein, that is nuts and seeds, and a large amount of fruit. So I have more fruit here than nuts. It's a good ratio. So I go again, I go to my um, banana shake yeah, to the almond. And yes, I will put a little bit more water, just a small amount, oops, to blend it more. And to make it a little bit runnier. And um, then after the little short time of soaking now, it will be creamier. And I guess it will be nice later. Looks a little better, a bit better. Oh, the fragrance is nice. I can smell the almonds. It makes such a difference to take almonds instead of cashews. That's my usual dressing here. Always cashews, bananas, and lemon. That's and then I build on that. But now with the almond, very different, and I guess also very nice. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful almond flavor really bears through it, carries through it. It's very nice. I show you what it looks like. I would say it's really perfect. Nothing else is needed in this dressing. It has its own seasoning because of the almond. The cashews would be more neutral, but the almond gives us a nice seasoning. And I guess it's wonderful together with the bananas and the strawberries here. Yeah. Um, I'm very looking forward to enjoy. I will just scrape a little bit the sides here because the precious cream shouldn't stay in the blender, it shouldn't be wasted. I just put it on top. And also I need a nice amount of dressing for my fruit salad because um, it should be nicely covered everything. I show you I write to show you in a moment what I'm talking about when I fill it into my glass to serve it to myself and to show it to you. Because when I have too little dressing in these fruit salads, now, sometimes that's nice, but just the fruit, especially when, bare, when you have grapes and these kind of fruits with the juicy fruits. But when you have um, 
more drier fruits, and then the oranges are also juicy. Yeah. Uh, then it's good to have more dressing, and this one um, is nice with a little bit more dressing, and you will see why. I show you what it looks like. I hope I have enough dressing. I think so. Yeah, I can see it. And the other one I tried with the cat and with the almonds inside, I, I told you, instead of the macadamias, there was a little bit too little dressing. And so uh, I enjoyed, as I said, but the almonds, um, they were a little bit um, not where they should be. And um, there was a little bit, um, the fruit were not really covered by the dressing. They were um, like a little bit um, isolated, it seemed. This dressing here connects the fruit. And that is so nice when the fruit are all connected with this dressing and the dressing has this wonderful flavor. And it's really a beautiful flavor. This is what I, what I mean. You see, this is all covered like a cocktail. Yeah. If you would see the single fruit here and the holes between the flu fruit, that wouldn't be nice. Then it would be too dry. But in this case, with the dressing, that is very nice. And I would put maybe a strawberry on top of some academias on the decoration. That's um, to be seen. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like, like my video, subscribe and the vegan on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter.